Hi everyone, it's Jasmine and today I'm going to be doing a little lipstick swatch review for you guys on the Wet n Wild Mega Last lipsticks and I know I talk about these all the time but I feel like I accumulated so much that I should have a video for it. You know what I'm saying? And um, I have a total of 13 out of 26 colors. Uh, halfway there of getting all of the colors. And oh, by the way, I kind of adjusted my lights, so I don't think I look as washed out, but tell me if I do. I don't know, I'm still trying to fix it, but yeah, let's get into the video. So a little information for you guys, these lipsticks retail for about $2 a piece, and it says... Lips take center stage. This four hour long wearing lip color leaves a semi matte cream finish in one stroke. Glides on easily with rich velvety color that doesn't cake, feather, or bleed. Made with hydrating skincare ingredients. Oh, they listed some ingredients, but I'm not gonna try. Um, it says, an exclusive polymer complex offers cushion like feel and texture, natural marine plant extracts. Coenzyme Q10 and vitamins A and E to help smooth lips. So I have been purchasing these lipsticks since about three years ago and I honestly have to say that these do last for a very long time. I would say maybe a little longer than four hours. Um, more of the darker colors stain your lips which I don't mind personally but these are very smooth and great in texture. I can honestly say that I love some of these colors way more than MAC lipsticks. And that's, that's kind of saying a little bit, you know? And in case you're wondering, I was not sponsored. <sighs> Girl, I would have, if I was sponsored, So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get started. And I got learned. Yeah. Let's do it. So the first color is Pink Sugar 900 B, and this is actually my first time trying this lipstick out. And when I swatched it, the swatch wasn't that solid, and the color was very much like my skin color. So I would recommend if you have medium skin tone to wear a lip liner under. So this next color is Think Pink 901B and this is also one of the newer shades I picked up and it is definitely one of those light Barbie pink lipsticks which isn't really my taste but I really do like to ombre with this color. This color is called Bear It All 902C and this is my holy grail nude lipstick. I love this shade. It slides on so perfectly and it's just the right color for me when it comes to nudes. This one is my new favorite. It's Just Peachy 903C and it is the perfect orangey pink. And I never really thought that I would like this color, but it's just so unique and perfect for my skin tone that I just, I can't get enough of it. It's perfect, I love it. So this is more of a darker pink and it's called Wine Room 906D and it is so perfect. The right shades of mauve is in this lipstick. It's just, it's great. I love it, I'm living for it. So the name of this lipstick is so deceiving. It's called Mauve Out of Here in 907C. And it's not that mauve, it's more pink. And to be honest, Wine Room is way more mauve than this. But it's still a pretty shade and I like it. So this one's called Sugar Plum Fairy in 908C and it is my first and only berry lipstick shade. And it has the right amount of purple and red combined. It's amazing. So 
So I recently picked this color up, it's Red Velvet 910D, and it is more of an orangey red, but I don't have a color like this, so I just decided that it would be fun for a change. So this nude is called Sandstorm 913C, and it is the most unique nude I've ever seen. It has an orange undertone, and it's just like a burnt orange. Yeah, it's a burnt orange. So this next color is called Milkalicious 914C and I love this color under Bare It All. They are the most perfect combination. Oh, it's mmm. But anyway, this color is definitely what it's called. It's a deep, deep mocha color. That was really bad, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> So this one is called Cherry Bomb 918D and it is definitely like Sugar Plum Fairy and Mochalicious had a baby. It is so vampy, so dark, so beautiful. It is, mm, I don't know how else to say it, but that's what it is. So I finally got my hands on this lipstick. I've been wanting this for so long. It is Vamp It Up 919B and it is Honestly, I think a dupe for Cyber by MAC. And I have Cyber, but Cyber runs a little dry and this one is definitely a little bit more moisturizing. So I don't know, it's up to you. $16 versus $2. So sadly, this is my last lipstick, but I don't think it's my favorite out of all of them. It is called 24 Karat Gold 969. and. I don't know, orange isn't really my color, but I'm trying to work with this and I'm trying to make it work, but I don't know, every single time I wear it, I don't think it suits me. My teeth look weird in it, I don't know, but yeah. So this is just a regular baby wipe. Alright you guys, so that wraps up this video and I hope you guys found it very helpful and I hope you guys go out to the store and go buy yourself some because these are so good. They're so pigmented for $2 and honestly, these are going to be my go-to um, forever until I could find another drugstore or high-end lip product that I'm not willing to give up, but I don't think I am because... I have 13 more colors to get. These are just half. And maybe if I do get the other 13, I'll do another remake of this video. But for now, this is what y'all gonna get. So comment down below of which color was your favorite or what colors you have. And like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe if you haven't. <laughs> Until next time, I love you guys and peace out Girl Scouts.